Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to D-Race Shop. Today I'm in here changing the oil and filter on this old Honda ATC 250SX. And a question that I've been asked over the years, time and time again, is a, a question about oil filters, and specifically this type of oil filter. Now this filter here is used on, it started out being used on the old Honda 250s like this. The ATC TRX 250s also fits the old TRX 300, all your models of that one. The TRX 350, 354 befores, uh, some of your Honda 400 Foremans, and the newer model of uh, 420s that are still in production. Uh, this filter has to go in a specific way. And if you're not real careful when you take it out, if you're not familiar with this type of filter, when you take it out and go to put the other one in, if you put it in backwards, it'll actually stop the oil flow to the cylinder head, which will definitely damage your engine. So uh, let's knock this filter out of here and I'm gonna show you how to tell the correct way to put this filter in. Now the oil filter cover is located on the right hand side of the engine. We're gonna zoom in here and get a little closer look at it. It just has three six millimeter screws with eight millimeter heads on. You just take those three screws out. Remove this cover. Just give it a little peck. I'll pop that right off. Be sure to have your drain pan handy because a little oil is going to come out of there with it. Okay. Now, once you get this cover off, what you're going to find is this is your old filter, which you're going to discard. Uh, a couple things to watch for is you got a, a spring here that uh, keeps the filter pushed up against the front of the filter body. And it usually falls right out, so you want to be sure to retain that and we'll reinstall that. A couple other things to watch for is there's two O-rings on this cover. There's a perimeter O-ring that seals the main body. Then there's a smaller O-ring that fits right in the crankcase right here that seals the little outlet tube. So be sure that you don't lose those. Inspect those O-rings, make sure they're not cut or damaged, and if so, replace them. All right, now, we get ready to reinstall our filter. Here's our new filter here, and you'll notice on the back side it's just kind of plain. It has a little bypass port there. And on the front side, you've got this rubber grommet. The grommet always fits on this little snout in the cover, just like that. Then it just goes right, up, goes right back on, just like that right there. Now, a little trick that I do to help hold the spring in place is I usually take a little small dab of wheel bearing grease, put it on the end of the spring, stick it right in the cover just like that. You just take your filter, put it back in place, hold that down, and start you a couple of little screws in there. Alrighty guys, well that's going to wrap up this edition of D-Ray Shop. Hope you find the information was useful and maybe it'll keep you from having a little trouble on down the road when you change your oil on your own Honda. Alright, well, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good one. We'll catch y'all next time around.